Well, Sam, this is Skull and Bones. Have you heard of this game before? I've seen Instagram ads for it. Essentially, back in 2014, when... Or was it 2012, when Black Flag came out, they were pretty happy with that. And they decided, let's make a standalone game. And after, what, eight or nine years, this is what they've come up with. What are your <laughs> initial thoughts of this new... The, the newly released trailer? Well, it kind of looks a bit like one of those like tank games that you play on your mum's phone when you're eight um right you can like you know how it's like it's trying to be serious but you can also like paint it pink and put spikes on it yes and stuff like yes. that and we're about uh, to see later <laughs> that come into a bit i mean to be fair the graphics are pretty looks the pretty graphics happy. looks pretty cool but all ubisoft games look good but then when you start to go it's like you have this really nice picture, but then when you look closely, it's just made of sick. So, the, yeah, look at that. The crew look... I mean, I ooh, don't know what happened to the crew there. They go, oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. So you start off with these, like, little boats here. Yeah. And they're sort of your basic two can... Oh, well, there's a few more cans. And then you get that, a ballista. Oh, what's that? That's apparently... <laughs> apparently we have ballistas. Also, essentially, why in this era, uh, w when we've got cannons and mortars, are we still using ballistas? Because... It, oh, look, also, no, you can see the look at that, that rocket thing. Amazing. Look at that rocket thing. <laughs> so this is about you, this is about the sh the crew <laughs> mutinying. The crew can like get really angry if you, I'm assuming you don't feed them and stuff like that. Yeah. And they can apparently headbutt you. Sick. That's a feature in the is game. Is it like so? Is it? It's like open world. Is that the idea? That it's just like so kind of like multiplayer open world. Vibes. They're making it seem like that, but I don't know how open world it's going to be because, as you can see, all the actual gameplay that we're seeing is on the ship. But what they're saying is you can harvest resources, you can go and treasure hunt, you can go to these hubs. But none of the hub stuff or the stuff that's off the ship is gameplay. It's all cutscenes. So I feel like you're just sailing around, and then when you get to like a oh here's an island you can explore, you just go into a cutscene. Right. I mean, it does look. Look at that. What is that? Yeah. What is that ship? <laughs> it's not going to be appealing to the same people that played Black Flag in 2014 and thought it was really good. See, this is what I th is really annoying, is this game has so much potential, but they've gone such a weird way. Like, why couldn't they just make a Black Flag game that was Black Flag but multiplayer? I mean, look, at this is harvesting resources. Oh, look, yeah, what is that's, that? That's bad. That looks. It kind of looks like a mobile game in that yes. way. Like it's yes, yes. got mobile game vibes. When you get those mobile, I mean, this also very much looks like a mobile game. So this is like the crafting, so but it just, looks so much. It's just a cutscene. Yeah. So I doubt you're actually going to be able to do any of that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's just like you click the upgrade button and then you get a cutscene and you don't do anything else. Mm, look at that cargo ship. Yeah, that looks nice. Look at that shark. That, been that looks like how they did that. Back in the day. <laughs> but this is where it gets even better. I think we're about to see some of the... Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at that. That's look at the amazing. spikes. Spi oh, oh, look at that. All oh, the firepower. Is that is that a flamethrower? I I don't know if that one... I think we're about to see a flamethrower, though, which could be incredible. I think in this they call it... Yeah, wow. Maybe, maybe it was that, yeah. Yes. But my guess is that that's going to be... I mean, torpedoes. Hell yeah. Excellent. They she would. even says, actually, I think we missed it, but she even says that you can attach rocket launchers yes. to your ship. They did have rocket launchers back in the 1400s. Before they sold them to <laughs> Afghanistan. <laughs> yeah. They actually got them from here. <laughs> I mean, I quite like some of the designs on, like, that bit of the ship. But, like, what... Come what on. What is that? <laughs> come on. Oh. See, so that looks is, cool. So this is, like, the open worldy bit, right? Yeah, that looks cool. It looks like Black Flag. And it looks like that there's some, like, AI. These all look to be, like, AI that yeah, you can yeah. take. I mean, I like these this aspect of it. It's just a shame that there's a... <laughs> it just looks a bit tacky, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, even this bit, like, Black Flag, the ship combat looked much better than this. Yeah, it does. This, I don't know why they've gone with this, like, new reticle thing. And so this is boarding the ships. It's just all a cutscene. They've been showing us gameplay for everything, but as soon as you hop off the ship, it's just a cutscene. And it's really wasted potential because you can't hop off your ship. At least that's not what it looks like. Black Flag, what made it cool is you could just park up in the middle of the ocean and just dive off. Yeah. Black Flag is great. I am currently playing Black Flag. Do you get those rockets in Black Flag? What, are they like Napoleonic Wars rockets or something? Yeah. Sadly, or those like Chinese rockets, right? Sadly, no, you don't get rockets in Black Flag. But I don't think that the game is lacking because of that. What are your favourite <laughs> bits of Black Flag? Um, I, My favourite bit of Black Flag is like the open world element of it yeah. and just like sailing around. Do you like the like, bit in Black Flag when you can buy a new tunic for £15 to show off to your mates? Um, y yes, that's my favourite bit is when I can get skins of famous current YouTubers and put them on my pirate. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That PewDiePie Black Flag skin, that's the one. Yeah, that is the best skin. So it does look like that there is some 
uh, like attacking forts as well. And I don't know why they're showing so much of this off ship stuff because it doesn't look like you can hop off. I mean, that looks pretty cool. So you can dock your ship, but can uh, look, you... he's oh. he's walked off. But like, can you? What about like the hunting? What about the the, the treasure finding? Oh, is he? That was a cutscene. It looks yeah, it does. But there are treasure maps though, so I'd assume you can. You can go and find treasure. I think the main problem with this game, right, is that they had something that people were actually really excited for, in a standalone Black Flag game. But because it's Ubisoft, they decided, look, we've got something really good here. Why are we keeping it this way? See, that looks rubbish. That looks they could have so much potential of, like, attacking these these forts and you could do it, like, co-op. I mean, I, I'm assuming there were the player ships. But then you've got, like, these set positions that you have to fire on to breach it. And then I'm assuming it just does the thing. It's either a cutscene or when yeah. you go to those islands to harvest the trees and the coconuts and stuff like that and you just do it from your ship and it looks like a mobile game that I'm assuming you have to tap in the right place. <laughs> And they took all this potential and they ripped it out of it. It doesn't have the same appeal as what you would have thought like a standalone Black Flag game would, would have. I mean, let's take, for example, this section where they talk about the hunting, right? Yeah. This initially looks pretty cool. But then as it cuts to the actual gameplay of the hunting, then it, then it gets really... Like, what is... They did this so much better in every other Assassin's Creed game. Yeah. And I, I'm very aware that this is not an Assassin's Creed game, but that's its problem, I think. And I never thought I'd be saying that in this day and age <laughs> because the Assassin's Creed series has gone very much downhill. But I do think that they should have made this more Assassin's more Creed. Like an Assassin's Creed game. Just an open-world multiplayer Assassin's Creed. Let's that have a look at great. some of the comments. An open-world Black Flag would be amazing. What is everyone else saying? Imagine how immersion-breaking it's going to be when you sail your pirate galleon and come across a player with a splinter cell collapse ship available in the store for $15. Oh, God. Yeah, people also don't seem very yeah. happy with this. Do not despair. One day we'll have a gritty, realistic pirate game where ships don't move like jet skis. There's definitely going to be, like, upgrades <laughs> where you can, like, speed up your ship. Yeah, you'll definitely be able to add, like, thrusters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, like, <laughs> nitrous boosts and shit yeah. to your ship. That's going to be great. As so many people have been saying, this game should have been an open-world pirate game that's both land and ship gameplay, basically Black Flag without assassins. I think that's just what I've said there. Oh, well, I'll just replay Black <laughs> just Flag. Play Black. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I've actually I've shown you this. So this is the newest one, actually, but we'll go and yeah. uh, look at the initial reveal trailer, right? Because this reveal trailer is what got everyone kind of hyped up. Because what was it? Okay, so five years ago. Five years ago? This was Well, they'd already announced the game, but this was like when the first cinematic trailer came out. I want your initial reactions to this trailer. Forget the game you've just seen. This is what everyone thought it was initially. Foreign fortune, while wetting the appetites of those they fear most. Sounds like it's going to be a pretty gritty yeah. game, doesn't it? Wow. It looks like the uh, opening scene of like a Pirates of the Caribbean film. Look at that! How See? cool is that? Look, there's no rocket launchers on it. Amazing. Wow. Does this look like a game you want to play? <laughs> yeah, it looks, that looks cool. See, see, that's that's the best bits of Black Flag, but like obviously modernized and made yeah. like better graphics, like better gameplay and stuff. That's surely what everyone wanted. Oh, this is so cool. I can't wait till this game comes out. <laughs> I don't know what this other Skull and Bones game is, but this one... This one looks good, yeah. Ubisoft are fantastic at, well, essentially making the most incredible trailers and the most disappointing game. <laughs> it's actually kind of impressive how they managed to do it. What's that? Another ship, a bigger one. And there's no custom logos on the sails <laughs> or... We had spikes on the they side. They haven't of the got spikes and rocket launchers. This is the perfect expectations versus reality. Yeah. It was like <laughs> you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> it's like you're this like brightly coloured ship with spikes and armor plating and like rockets on firing little torpedoes, and then next to this, which looks like an incredible pirate game. This looks really cool. Are you going to play it? Are you looking forward to it? Don't think I would be playing it. If I had seen just that second trailer... Yeah, or the first the, trailer. The, yeah, yeah, well, the original one, <laughs> sorry. The one from five years ago, um, then I think I would potentially play it when it came out. It looks like a tacky mobile game. I think that's probably Ubisoft's slogan at this point. It looks like a tacky mobile game. But the problem is, everybody seems to keep playing their games, which is why they keep making them, and it's terrifying. I mean, we've got Assassin's Creed Infinity on the way, which, I, Ooh. in terms of tacky mobile games, I think it's probably going to be the peak of tacky mobile games. 
this. Everyone stop playing it and then they'll stop making it. I think that's how we can finish <laughs> this video. Boycott. <laughs> Out of 10, how would you rate Skull and Bones in terms of excitement? Off your, the second. Off the trailer. most recent trailer. Yeah. Uh, very low. I won't be playing it. Maybe a two. That's an IGN review. Thank you, everybody.